The secure division is a cluster of hospitals within Mercy Care that looks after patients with a forensic background. Most of our patients will have come to what we might describe as the end of the road for some people and have been through numerous services and at some point it's deemed that they're best or will be best cared for in secure services so they will be the patients we would take. If you're thinking of joining us in the secure division I would say absolutely yes, do it. There's so many opportunities to develop no matter what point in your career you're starting at. To work in secure service, you've got to have a good outlook towards mental health, you've got to have a positive attitude and you've got to be resilient. When I'm working on the ward, I find it the most rewarding when a patient becomes well again. Um, it can be a long period of time, but the reward is just amazing. It's really nice and rewarding to see how people transition through, through that pathway um, and, and the support that we're, we're able to give them in terms of transitioning them into the community and setting up a life for themselves after secure services. We start from effective communication. That's the basis of everything we do, which is about act actively listening to these patients. If at that point in time they are telling you to go away, leave them alone. If at that point in time they want your attention, they would, they would tell you as well. So when someone is in that particular state, the last thing you want to be doing to them is to be confronting them. Um, it's, and that's where emotional intelligence comes in for, for mental health nurses. You need to be someone who is able to think outside the box someone with an absolutely big heart and who is interested in people. Because what we tend to get is people who for a long time have been disconnected from others and from their families and those that they find dear. It's about recovery and absolutely giving those people hope and making them feel like they are part of something bigger. So just recently we've had a patient that was coming from prison services. He was really unwell couldn't face going outside at all. When I was speaking to his doctor, we found that he really did want to go out, but it was too much for him. So my job then, as frontline nurse and staff, was to speak to this patient and try and find the problem as to why he weren't going out. Through me engaging with him constantly every day and giving him structured activities, he found the courage to say he does want to go out. So, and he actually requested for us to take him out, me and a certain member of staff, um, and we've done that breakthrough together. We strive for perfect care. Our nurses are keen to be that individual who people can look up to and, and feel like they, they, they are someone, they, there is hope. We can do things better for them. It's such a fantastic opportunity and with such modern state-of-the-art facilities, we're so lucky to be able to work in an environment which is modern, fresh, technology. Patients are able to have virtual reality headsets. Rooms are individual, ensuite bathrooms. What people deserve to have when you come into services, which will improve their experience of being in secure care. I love the, the sense of security you get off staff. I love the fact that you can speak to staff about any of your problems and they're always there to support you and never make anyone feel unwelcome as well. I come into work knowing that regardless of what's going to happen, I'll be supported by the people around me, from senior consultants to my matron and to people who support me, so my ward team, the nurses, the nursing assistants, everyone works very closely together to achieve the best possible care that we can. And I think in, in terms of of the environment that we work in, it, it, it can be challenging but um, you're around lots of really knowledgeable, experienced staff who, who support you every step of the way. They're constantly identifying opportunities for people to continue their professional development. I've developed from staff nurse into um, a management role now um, to provide me with, with great educational opportunities I'm studying for. Um, a master's currently at Liverpool University. When you finish your shift and you see a nursing assistant coming to you, I've had a lovely shift. Thank you for that. For me, it goes a long way because if they, have, they feel safe on the ward, I'm guaranteed that the quality of care provided to my patient is fantastic. I just love it. Honest to God, I can't tell you how much I actually do love my job. Sometimes I can sit there and moan constantly about to my family and even to the staff that I work with about 
how much that I just don't want to be in today or I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. I can still go home at the end of the day and know that I'm going to get up the, the next day, come to work and I'm just going to love it anyway. Otherwise I still wouldn't be here, but I love it too much. I go home with a sense of pride and a sense of having contributed to someone else's life in a meaningful way. And that brings me joy. And helping patients get better is ultimately what all of us want to achieve, which is why we go into the nursing profession. And this is such a fantastic opportunity to come and work in the secure division.